Australia's biggest and most recognisable city is Sydney, and that's where I'm heading. I've been staying with the Nomads chain of backpacking hostels, and I've found their staff to be a great wealth of information. Richard Mandrill, General Manager of the Sydney Hostel, is a fine example of this. He had me cruising the harbour, up in a plane over the city. He even tried organising a meeting with a drag queen for me. But more about that later. Someone who's here for one or two days, I generally point them in the direction of the Sydney Harbour Explorer, basically straight away. It runs every day and it's a continuous trip around the harbour, but you can hop on, you can hop off. That's probably an excellent way to spend a day in Sydney for somebody who hasn't got a lot of time. You get to see the harbour, you get to see some retail, you get to see a zoo, you get to see fantastic scenery. Um, Sydney Harbour is absolutely spectacular. Richard then suggested going somewhere I would never have even considered visiting. One of Sydney's best kept secrets and a must see for lovers of fine seafood. The Sydney fish market is broken up into two categories. When we get over there, um, we'll actually go into the wholesale side of, of the fish market where all the retailers purchase um, day by day for the outlets throughout Sydney, the north coast, the south coast. The fish market floor opens at 5.30 and then we go onto the retailers at 7am and they are selling for the duration of the day. The seafood product is fantastic, it's well priced, it's very fresh, it's a lot of it. People can't believe that you can have ten varieties of prawns and, and four varieties of crabs. So it's a main destination Monday to Friday for tourists to get down there and, and purchase some prawns and some oysters and grab a bottle of wine and grab a seat out on the wharf and check out the pelicans and watch seagulls fly by and just be a part of something that's unique to the world in actual fact. 